The purpose of this video is to go over what comes with the extended bed from GigDigit and two available additional wiring options. First, I'm going to try to cover just the basics to show everything and then get back to further further along in the video for the details. But first, I'm going to try to stick just with the basics. So, the main part of it, of course, is the bed. It comes with two removable steel, or not spring steel, they're semi-flexible build sheets. Then also, there's a glass plate that you can secure with the included binder clips. And there's also, some people choose to use like a thermal silicone pad. I prefer the binder clips, it's easier to remove and then to use to put these on. You just need one of course at a time. So all these these three pieces are included. And then you have the main, main part, the bed, silicone wiring. It comes with the spring, screws are already installed, heaters are already heaters are already hooked up, ready to go. Just have to be plugged into power. And the, this one's for the thermistor, the smaller one. The, the rods, smooth rods, are included along with the two screws on each end. And of course, you'll have to remove those to install it on the bed. But they will ship like this, wrapped up along with the glass and the belt sheet wrapped up on top. Um, the magnets here would keep the bed in place, or the, the built sheets. And those you just leave in place when you put the glass on. So covered that. Those aside. And it comes with also the accessories, which be bagged up similar to this. This is little those, and then here is the sleeving and a couple extra connectors if you want to shorten the wire or the heater. And here's more of a detail of what's kind of a, or a closer of what is included in those two bags. Let's see if we can zoom in here a little bit. So we'll start with this one. This heat shrink, five to six inches, will be included. And this is expandable sleeving. The connect those connectors, the wiring will fit in here. You might uh, need to flare the end. I can, I'm going to cover that in a bit. Just keep moving with the show that comes with it. It'll be five or six of these smaller three inch zip ties, cable ties. There's so many included because these are, these will break fairly easy. And these little tabs in here, so there's just be five or six included. You don't need them necessarily at all, or you, and you won't need that many. Then there's additional four or five of the four inch cable ties. And again, just they're there included if that's what you choose to use to secure the wire or the sleeving around the wire. This is for the heater wire. If you choose to shorten the cable, it, the cable that comes with it is 36 inches plus or minus a couple inches. But for on average, it should be about 35 to 36 inches. These you'll you can crimp if you have the proper tool. If you have the proper tool, you probably have the connectors. But you, or you can try to crimp them with pliers. If you do crimp with pliers. You do need to be sure that the connectors are secured. Maybe even a little bit of solder if you're going to do it with pliers to help hold it in place, which will end up melting the PVC more than likely. So if you have some heat shrink or tape just to prevent anything from touching. This is a Z and stop. Well, it's not the Z and stop, but it's kind of so you can adjust it because you will have, with using the larger, thicker build plate, you'll have to use this here, or if you have your own, you can use that. It's just included to make it easier to get going. These are the binder clips, so it'll be two packs of two, or one pack of four. And the belt, 
along with the spring tensioner. And then also four zip ties. You will only need two. It, once you might might have trouble getting the tension correct on the belt the first time or the first couple times. So you have three tries. Otherwise, yeah, maybe you can use some of these if you that's not enough. Comes with the pulleys. Some machines have two idler pulleys. Some have one, and then all of them have the excuse me the drive pulley. You do not have to use these. You're, if the, what's on your machine on your printer is okay, you, these you just keep as spares. And these are optional. These are a little bit taller and stiffer springs. The screws here are 25 millimeters. What's on the, the bed right now that it'll come with is 20 millimeter screws. You could use the 25 millimeters with the other one, with the other springs, but these are included as, as optional to use. That's, I think I covered everything there. I should say what is not included is the MOS, like a MOSFET or something similar that you will, this is, something like this will be required. Again, this is not included, neither is a power supply. We'll need a separate power supply from, can't use what comes with the printer. Something, for example, like this. When you buy it, it'll, it'll be without this and without the wiring. This is kind of a generic brand. This one's 12 volts, 30 amps. It's at 300, yeah, 360, 360 watts. That's plenty sufficient. The bed is 160 watts approximately. So you want to at least get some 200 watts or above. Um, if you can go with more than that, you can power the printer. You can probably power the printer also with 200 watts, but I would recommend going um, with something more than 200 watts if you want to run the printer off the same power supply, which you can only do with the 12 volt version. So if you have the 24 volt bed, you will need a 24 volt power supply and a separate power supply for the rest of the printer, which you could just use what's included on um, the stock. This is supply. just gonna cover two available optional wire options. One is gonna be the silicone insulation. Both of these are copper wire, stranded copper wire. This is PVC insulation. These are the same, both each one is going to come with 16 gauge. A set for the 16 gauge and I'll cover diff later what those are used for. And then the 14 gauge silicone and PVC. Electrically they'll work just the same. Also they each come with one of this here, which is a signal wire, silicone signal wire. Both will be silicone uh, 24 gauge. Each will come with two connectors, or two additional terminals. Well, it comes with four, two for each, each set. And this is to mount a MOSFET that is it, that is not included, but this this is included, and along with the screws, you may or may not be able to use that depending on what you choose. And just to show you quickly what that's used for is just like that, and your main board sits right here, and screws down right there. And you use the screws to all four corners, two corners. And it has a double-sided tape if you choose to use that. And then also, each will come with an additional expandable sleeving. It's uh, approximately 33 to 36 inches of the expandable braided wire sleeving. Each will come with an additional 5 to 6 inches 
of the heat shrink and the same amount of 3 inch and 4 inch cable ties that came that comes with the bed. Just, there's extra in there in case they're needed. And in addition to this this one here, this stuff I just mentioned will come with the PVC version or the silicone wire version. In addition, if you choose the silicone option, silicone insulation option, it will include the same stuff there, but also 68 to 72 inches of the split sleeving. It's the expandable, comes with both, and the split sleeving is only going to come with the silicone wire options. This is a quick clip to show optional wires that you can purchase. There will be more details further along if you still need more information. This is going to show quickly what the optional wires are used for. So this one here is going to run from the power supply to the main board. The other one's going to run from the power supply to the MOSFET. And this smaller wire runs from the MOSFET to the heater output on the main board. So it acts as a signal wire. All, all versions of the wire, 12 and 24 volt, will come with this one and this one. The 24 volt will not come with the wire that goes from the power supply to the main board. And that's covered later for further Now I'm going to cover how and where the optional wires are used. You got these here. These are the PVC insulated. This is going to be the same exact thing for the silicone insulated version. I'm going to demonstrate the 12 volt option. Um, the 24 volt version will be the same except for you cannot use this and it will not be included. Signal wire, I'm going to keep that over here. A little sample setup with the main board and the MOSFET mount, which is included if you choose the optional wires. The MOSFET is not included, so you may or may not be able to use this. Depends on if this is the type you get, which many are just like this or similar with the same layout. Power supply, 12 volt power supply. First, I'm going to hook up power to the MOSFET. Use the fork connectors to the power supply. Red to the positive, negative black wire. Use the ring terminals. Feel that's safer because this will be always live if the power switch is on. The spade connector, if there was a spade connector here and it broke for if it came loose, or one one or both, it could create a short. So I'm using that's why the ring terminals were chosen. A little, a little more of a pain to install. But that's a, pretty much a one-time thing. Red again to positive. This one's going to go from the power supply. To the main board. And this one's if you do choose to get the wires, this one is optional. Um, you don't need to use this one at all. You could just get your power from the external brick like you did with the stock setup, um, which would run from the back of the printer. You turn the power switch on and it has the wire that goes to here in the main board. You could use that. And then all and then use this this power supply, this other additional power supply you could use just for the board. This setup will allow using one switch. You disconnect the power from the back of the printer right here, and you plug this one in. 
Yeah. Let's put that up in a minute. Here's the signal wire. That's in the small plug. It's going to go into here. And this was chosen because many of them have this same style, same plug, and this just a, comes with a pigtail or something that you can use. But and then you plug the bigger, the bigger plug in where the heat, the bed heater was, the stock. And that main board will tell the MOSFET when to turn on. It'll send power out through there. Now I'm going to hook up a bed just as an example. And there's two red wires. And it's possible there might there might be a black and a red later, but at this time they're both red. It does not matter if this one goes here or here. So I'm just going to choose there, and there's no reason other than it's just it's easier to it's what I chose. And then this one will go here. For the thermistor, it's this one here. I'm going to plug in to this port here. This is the bed thermistor. We're set up now. All those are making verify everything set up for good power. Plug in a display. Just a touch screen since it'll, but it'll work just fine, doesn't matter. Just don't want to have to mess with the rotor encoder. Got power. Make sure that's off. I think we're ready to go. There's nothing, nothing short out anywhere. All right, here we go. We go to preheat. And it's going to say 999 there, or similar, depending on for here, this board. That's what it's going to say because there's no hot end heater here. Just going to go ahead, and turn that on. That's it. That's what the what these additional wires are for. These are 36 inches, roughly, maybe plus or minus an inch. You can see that's heating up now. I'll show you a little example. I'm going to cut this. I find it easier if you flare one of the ends. And you actually don't have to cut the end, you can actually do this. And being I have gloves on, I can just put my finger in there while it's warm and still melt. Or you can use something like, you know, heat it up and you can use like a screwdriver and kind of lift it up a little bit. But just to, you know, have the glove on, it makes it easier to start feeding the wire. And I'm going to show an example with silicone wire and use, use silicone wire because it is softer. Um, the PVC wire will get a little bit easier because it's, it's a little more rigid. I find it next we need, yeah, that's it. Right in. Yes. So the fork connectors is what I go with because you can't feed that plug in. So I, I'll start. You need to put two together. If you put a little tape on this, it might make it a little bit easier. Just kind of put them all in line. So just push them through. And this is just to show that this will fit in there. It's not as hard as it you would think. It's kind of a push in there and then kind of release. And then that push through like that. So most of them are all right here. Push and then let that go. This sleeve's gonna be a little bit long, I think. And you don't need it. you don't need to use this whole bit of sleeving and cut it to length. Most of the time you probably won't need the whole wiring covered up. 
especially if you're going to coil it up somewhere, then the sleeving will just make it thicker. I'm almost through there. And if it does get, if you get the forks caught on one of the, on here, you just kind of, you can just pull, pull it back on this a little bit while holding. Let's see. Towards the end, it does get a little bit tricky just because it's not as much to work with. And let's see. There you go. And I just pull that to kind of even them up. Yeah. So it's too long sleeving. I think it's, it was a little bit longer than the wire. I think it was like 37 inches. Because I was going to cut some off. But. So it goes through just fine. Not a trouble. It's not. Uh, it's not at all impossible. Arguably, it actually might be easier than this than the split sleeving, unless you have a tool, which is kind of a. These are three D printed. You put the wire into here. I don't like those things. So put the wire into there, and then that feeds along and the wire drops in there and it kind of you just hold it. This one's a little large for this sleeve but due to the thickness of the wire it's I can't use what the normal what would normally use is this size. But this is fine if you just be careful. This probably not necessary if you don't do if you're only doing one or two uh, runs. So this is what comes, the split sleeving comes with the silicone wire version. And this expandable comes is what comes with the stock. Or with just that's what comes with the bed. And if you choose the PVC wiring option. But other than between those two, that's the difference.